morning guys well it is pack up time it is breakfast time and the kids are having some pancakes now a good idea is well make some little pancakes and you can pop it in their bento boxes or lunch boxes or whatever you guys pack in the van or the car I'm going to the skate park. Well, that's if you guys hurry up. So you guys got to get ready. We'll get you some snacks for the car. And then Dad's got to make his coffee, finish packing up outside, and then get off the site. Hey, babe? Yeah. So we've just pulled on the side of the road at a rest stop, 5Ks at a Welcher. Time to stretch the legs, go for a wee, do all that kind of biz, and get a uh, zoop duper. Hey, how's oh, that for dad? Found my sandals. Oh, you found your sandals. Oh, well, that's in good. The They're in the caravan, not in the car like you thought you'd put them in. <laughs> yeah. All right, super duper for dad? Okay. All right, well, time for dad to do a wee and get back on the road. All right. Maybe Dad will get a Zupa Duper. Who knows? Oh. Hello. The weather's actually cooled down. It stopped raining, which is nice. Um, it's, it's, it's freezing. What? It's freezing? You're freezing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Benji's frozen. <laughs> oh, no. What are we going to do? <laughs> we'll have to warm him up. Yeah. Unfreeze. Bzz. I warm you up. Alright. I'll unfreeze you. <laughs> Five minutes later. Oh, we'll have to leave him on the side of the road. Uh, okay. Good. Ooh, that was a close one. Benji freezing. Oh, at least he's thawed out a bit. Hey mate, if you're cold, why are you having a super duper? Oh, because it's yummy. Oh, that makes sense. All right, let's have a look. Bikes are still solid, not moving. Yeah. All right, time for the toilet. Oh, the these flies can go away though. Yeah. So I'm sure this won't be the worst of it. Alrighty, guys. So we finally made it to Tamworth, and we're here at Sheffield B&B, and it is super duper windy, as you can tell. The trees are swaying. Wind's blowing a gust. And uh, we're all set up. Power and water, 50 bucks per night. And there's apparently some animals that we can go and see as well, uh, which the kids will absolutely love. Woo. So we're here for three nights and then um, we'll see what uh, Tamworth has to offer. Uh, Emily's already said she wants to go back to the big golden guitar. Maybe not today, maybe, it's not that far away. But, uh, oh, check her out. So good. Laying low, waiting for the day. Like a lone wolf stalking its prey. You can try to hide, you can try to run. I caught the scent, I smell the blood. I'm coming for you. Ah, the open spaces. I can't wait till we go into the outback, off grid, off road, and off the beaten track, and see what uh, the old beasts have got in them. Alrighty, guys. Now, if you come down and you're staying at the Sheffield B&B, you guys will be able to get to feed the sheep, feed the goats, check out the horses and the other wildlife. The kids are absolutely loving it and having a ball. This is what it's all about, giving your kids that experience.
Now, the kids are absolutely having a blast here. They are feeding all the animals. Benji's pushing, well, he's pulling the cart. He's loving it. He's getting some exercise, getting out there. Now we've got a goat that's uh, come along for the ride. He's hitched a ride, but I think he's uh, more so eating the buffet, the Meals on Wheels. Whoa, that's a big peak. A little bit different to Pepper. Now, as well as having a stack of animals to feed and to play with, there is also a playground for the kids, including trampoline. What happened last night? Benji's tooth fell out, and then he got a coin. It was in Where's the Where's the coin? What? In, in, the, in the kitchen. What? In the kitchen. Are you rich now? No. You got a dollar. Oh, show us, where's your tooth? Show us your tooth. Show us your mouth, Aunt Benji. Where'd it go? Show me. Oh, wow. Because the tooth fairy took it. The tooth fairy took it yeah. and dropped off some money. Yeah. Whoa, lucky tooth fairy had kitchen. a dollar. It was in the kitchen. Yeah, it was in Benji's locker. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. Let's bye bye. We'll make some jelly and then we'll make some breakfast. Yep. But we're not having jelly for breakfast. No. No. What are we having for breakfast? Pancakes. Yum. Mini pancakes. So yummy. Yep. All right, let's turn this down. Well, let's turn it off and be ready now. Okay. How's the pancake? Good. Yeah? Do we get a thumbs up? Oh, that good, is it? Well, good morning, guys. Such a beautiful day. Now, the kids have been wanting to go and see the animals ever since they woke up this morning at the crack of dawn. So, we're down here checking out the goats. Is it cool? Uh, oh, hop away. Hop away. The goat wants to headbutt you. Why? Maybe. Yeah. So you just got to be careful of the goats because they sometimes like to headbutt. Yeah. Does it? Oh, okay. So we've already fed the horses. We're checking out the goats now. We can hear the ducks in the background. Uh, there's ponies behind us. And yesterday we uh, grabbed some eggs, which unfortunately they um, went against the floor and the floor won. Benji accidentally dropped them. So no fresh eggs for breakfast this morning. So hopefully we can get some more. I mean, feeding the goats, not too bad, but the kids love it. That's uh, a terrible bad dad joke. So mum and dad are desperately trying to get the kids to go out today, but they are obsessed with the animals, which is good. Is this one your favorite? Yeah. Do you want to stay here or do you want to go out? Stay here and do what? Now it took a little bit of convincing to get the kids away from the animals, but we finally made it to the golden guitar. Hey Emily, hey Emily, where are we? Where are we? We are at the big golden batar. Oh, the big golden batar. Mm. All right, big smile, big cheesy smiles. Up. Oh, there you have it. So we've seen the big banana, and now what have we seen? Guitar. Guitar. Yeah, guitar. That's it. Whoa, look how big it is. So tall, <gasps> so golden. Now, as well as taking the obligatory photo of the golden guitar, the golden guitar info center in Tamworth 
serves as a vibrant hub of information celebrating the rich history of country music and providing visitors with a wealth of knowledge about the genre's evolution and the iconic Golden Guitar Awards. Who's taller? I think the guitar is. So, tell us about the guitar. So, me and, me and Benji are big and we're both big and we take the butt off the guitar and then we went into the guitar shop and, yep. we, and we were looking for things. Oh, and what did you find? The, the big golden guitar. Oh, say guitar. Now, another cool thing to do in Tamworth is explore the marsupial park, where the thrill of encountering adorable native Australian animals up close blends seamlessly with the park's lush surroundings, creating an unforgettable and exhilarating wildlife experience. Alrighty guys, now if you're down at Tamworth and you've got a couple of kids, bring them down to the marsupial park and they've also got a Corella and Lorikeet Avery. Still yet to see some big birds. I mean, Corellas and Lorikeets aren't very big. Anyway, this place is pretty big. They've also got a playground, which the kids are dying to see after this. Can you see any of the birds? Over here, Benji, look. So this place is not free, it's donations, isn't it, babe? Yeah, donations are encouraged. So it does say free entry in the door, but they would like donations. Yeah, which, you know, is a nice thing to do. Give a donation, help keep it going. I'm sure there's a lot of upkeep of this place. So Emily was adamant that she wanted to go back on the playground and didn't want to leave. But I said, it's time to go and get the eggs. And what are we going to get when we get back? Eggs from the chickens. Yeah. But this time, we won't drop them. We'll be very, very careful, hey? Yeah, this time I won't drop them. Yeah. So what are we going to go and get? The eggs. Oh. And Betty dropped them in the cow bed. Yes, we know. We've moved on, we've gone past that now. So, we'll be very, very careful this time with the eggs. Yeah, that's okay. Accidents happen. And they look like, those toes look like dinosaur toes. They do, they look like something from the dinosaur. Daddy, right? Daddy, be careful. What if he runs off and bites your camera? Oh, okay. Would you be happy with that? No. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Alrighty, so Wombat Walk didn't actually have any Wombats. It did, on the other hand, have a walk. Which now we're walking back to the car. As it's Sunday, so we need to go and get some groceries just before Wally's close. Alright guys, come on. Oh, at least it's cooled down with the clouds. It was beaming hot before in the hot, hot sun. Well, at least there's green, green grass and blue, blue sky. You better throw a party on the day that I Whew. Good morning, guys. What are we having for brekkie? Eggs. Eggs, yeah. So we got fresh eggs yesterday. They weren't dropped, which was good. Um, Emily's uh, cooking up some eggs here. I'll uh, get your bowl and we'll uh, serve it up. Have some nice fresh eggs for brekkie, hey? Ooh, fresh eggs in the morning. Now, let's go and check out and see what Baby Cakes is up to. We 
uh, might let her be in the zone. And daddy just let some flies in. Oh, no. <laughs> so, looks like Benji got his first electric shock on the fence. Yeah. He actually handled it pretty well. He uh, didn't cry. He ran over to us. He said he got, felt like someone just thumped him in the chest. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah, but there was no one around, he said. I'm not going to test it out. I'm not that brave or stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not. Yeah. I hate the static electricity. Well, this is true. Yeah, so. You act like you died to get a static shock. So. I'd rather <laughs> get a punch to the chest than static. But anyway. Well, it's the last day here at the Sheffield B&B, and it's been a little bit of a lazy day again, though I did get the cupboard door put on where we used to have the oven, because uh, we got that removed. Now sits a Thermomix and a whole bunch of other things. Um, so that was good. I was gonna do the roof hatch for the shower, as that's needing replacing, but uh, there's a big storm coming up way yonder which uh, the thunder is pretty gruesome and you can see some wicked lightning shots. Oh, the kids love it here. They love farm life. I'm surprised, but I think it's the animals. Just getting out back to nature, getting out and about, getting outdoors is, is a big thing uh, for them as well. I mean, they always love the outdoors. They love the beach. They love getting out on their bikes. But I think having the animals is quite a new thing and they absolutely love it. So if we can stay at some more farm stays, that'll be really good along the way. But we need to find some cheaper accommodation um, and try and curb our spending. It's only the second week. So I guess we'll find our groove soon. Say bye farm. Hi, you've been good. The animals have been amazing, haven't they guys? Yeah. Now, while on the way to Dubbo, we almost missed this cracker of a silo art. Featured is Dorothea McKellar and an extract from her famous poem, My Country, which is immortalized on this 29 meter high, privately owned maize mill in Gunnedah. <laughs> So we've just arrived at Blizzard Field Campground, filling up with the uh, potable water area. So we've got the one in and fills up all three at the same time. So time to turn this one off. There we go. So one fill point and then fills up all three tanks. So if you don't want to travel with full tanks to save fuel, which is what we did, then you can always fill up here on the way in. Well, you're not connected to water when you're at the campground, but you can fill up here on the way in. I think it's $14 a night or 17. Look, my wife did tell me, but you know husbands and wives, well, sometimes the husbands don't listen as well as, well as they should. So, um, yeah. Whew. So we'll be off grid. Well, we'll be using the solar and the batteries. So we've told the kids that, so that they can just be a bit more conservative with their power and water usage. Um, but I think they'll go all right. Now this will be our first totally off grid. So we'll be relying on solar battery and we'll have the water in the water tanks. So it's not like we're remote. So if we do happen to run out, I can always just run down, fill up the water bladder or just quickly drive the caravan down here and fill them up but we'll uh, we'll see what happens now we've also reached 10,000 k's on the car which means it's due for service so 
while we uh, had reception down the road, we uh, phoned ahead to see if we can get uh, a, a 10,000k service in for the old Nissan Patrol. And they're gonna fit us in on Thursday, so that's three days away. And they said they'll be able to drop us off uh, to the Dubbo Zoo afterwards um, because service will take all day and we'll be at the zoo all day. So that'll work out quite well. Um, a bit about this camp is that there's a maximum of 72 hours um, here, which is three days, which will work out well for us. Um, and then, yeah, we'll have to find out where we're gonna sleep or drive to next. Happy Valentine's Day, babe. Happy Valentine's Day that I had to remind you because you had no idea what the date was. I didn't, to be honest, yes. Well, I don't run on dates anymore. I run on smoothies because it's Valentine's Day. It's a good job some of us pay attention to dates, otherwise we wouldn't be booking anything or going anywhere. We yeah. Would, uh, be stuck. We won't be stuck. So since it's Valentine's Day. Yes. Yes. I'm trying to book something here. Okay. So we're currently booking a cart for the Dubbo Zoo. Because apparently it is massive. Ben just to walk at me. Okay. Well you can ride bikes, hire bikes if you don't have bikes. But it's gonna be 34 degrees tomorrow. And I feel like that's pushing it for the kids. We also don't have our car because our car is going to be serviced tomorrow yeah. by Dubbo Nissan. So, so I've just clicked over the 10K. We needed something that we could do all day and not squat to, to death. So we'll just have the wagon, the cart to drive around in. Yeah. I think it'll be worth it with the kids. <laughs> yes. It is a little, well, it is expensive, but I guess you got to put a price on, on will the kids go through it and I feel like there'd be a lot less whinging if they can just get on and off a wagon or off the golf cart yeah and go for a drive than if they have to walk the entire like five and a half kilometer track yeah in the heat yeah there'll be a lot of whinging yeah <laughs> so I booked a golf cart <laughs> yeah so I booked a golf cart uh my well our patrol is going in for service clicked over the 10k as we drove out of Port, nope, Tamworth. Tamworth, God. Yes. Yep, glad to see you're already forgetting the order we're going in. That's why we have a map, where we're yes. drawing the line. I know. It's such a, it's such a massive Speaking line which, at the moment. If you want one of those maps, we'll put the link in the video for you, because they're clever. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so we're off to the Old Dubbo Jail today, which is part of the Great Big Adventure Pass, and is a multi-ticketed, to Taronga Western Plains Zoo, the new Royal Flying Doctor Visitor Experience, the Wellington Caves, and the Old Dubbo Jail. The Old Dubbo Jail, situated in the heart of Dubbo, New South Wales, is a compelling historical site that transports visitors back in time to the harsh realities of the 19th century prison life. This well-preserved jail, operational from 1847 to 1966, provides a fascinating glimpse into Australia's convict past. As visitors wander through the somber cells and echoing corridors that can absorb the stories, the inmates experience the chilling solitude of the punishment cells and witness the grim realities of execution in the gallows. The old double jail is not merely a museum, it is an immersive journey into the convict era, offering a poignant, an educational experience for all who explore its corridors and contemplate the hardships endured within its formidable walls. There you go. And then you get stuck in. Except there was nothing to lean on, so you would So just then you just stay. go like this. I don't, mommy, I'm going to get out. Daddy will get his comeuppance for that. Uh, no, not a comeuppance. Oh, well, it is Valentine's Day. I don't think he'll enjoy it. Okay, let's let her up. There you go, move your arm over. Oh, well, your arms can probably, your hands can probably just fit through anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it can fit. It's not very comfortable, is it, buddy? Open it up. Did they lock it? Yeah, no. they did. They oh, did. They, they did, yeah, they we did didn't lock it. Days, That's we lock it. Because then, because then if they didn't, they would just, they would just be strong enough to... Yeah, yeah. all right, watch your hands. Okay, yes, Whoa. but it's not. They used to lock it. 
Alrighty guys, well there you have it, the Dubbo Jail, the, well the old Dubbo Jail, old Dubbo yeah it's the old Dubbo Jail, um, <laughs> no they don't, um, but you can access this or be part of the pass of the great, what's the pass that we just bought? Uh, it's the Dubbo, Great Dubbo Island. Hang on. Dubbo Region Great Big Adventure Pass. So the Dubbo Region Great Big Adventure Pass includes the old Dubbo Jail, it includes the zoo. The zoo, RFDS experience, and a one cave tour from Wellington Caves. Yeah, so which we'll all do uh, tomorrow and the day after. Yeah. All right. Let's get these kids some uh, lunch. We'll also uh, check the car because I think it's only an hour parking. Now, the rookie that I am, I didn't check to see if the mic was on, so instead, You'll have this super sexy, rugged voice because it's currently 1 a.m. in the caravan while I'm editing and the Gurley tribe are fast asleep. In other words, I can't record a voiceover. So the new Royal Flying Doctor Visitor experience in Dubbo presents a compelling narrative of the life-saving work carried out by the Royal Flying Doctor Service. Nestled in the heart of Dubbo, this state-of-the-art attraction immerses visitors in the world of Aero Medical Rescue through interactive exhibits, multimedia presentations, and engaging displays. Legends like yourself can gain insights into the challenges faced by remote communities and the critical role the Flying Doctor plays in providing medical assistance to those in need. The center also showcases the evolution of aviation and healthcare technologies, highlighting the ongoing commitment of the Royal Flying Doctor Service to delivering crucial medical care across the vast Australian outback. With its informative and interactive approach, the Royal Flying Doctor Visitor Experience in Dubbo offers a profound appreciation for the dedication and impact of this iconic Australian service. Ready? Your photo will be taken in five. Four, three, Big smile. Two, one. Yeah, if mum wants to fill in that you would have to Yeah, you can have to turn. Right, ready? Your photo will be taken you can in five, it. four, three, two, one. It's 2.39 a.m. in the caravan now, and I still can't make a whole heap of voiceover noise, so I'm going to stick with this super sexy, rugged voice instead. Moral of the story is, I need to do this when everyone's awake, plus going to bed super duper late apparently makes me snore like a mother trucking freight train, according to Baby Cakes, a.k.a. Deb. You guys ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For a fun day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, come on, let's go. Okay. Say that like you're not the person holding something. Alright. Has a turning circle like the Corolla. Yeah, because the Corolla at least have power steering. <laughs> oh, there we go. Why are they so hard to do? Alright, act cool, guys. Act cool. Just act cool. Alrighty, good morning, guys. Now we're here down at the Taronga Zoo, or the Western Plains Taronga Zoo, checking out all the wildlife. Kids are having a blast because what you guys like the cart? Was the cart fun? Yeah. And does mum drive really well? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean the suspension. Well, those speed bumps are pretty and uh, this, gnarly. And this yeah. Yeah. Is not no left switch. Yeah. Yeah. So well, over here we've got the uh, rhinos. They're just having a chill sesh at the moment. A chill sesh. Well, okay. Okay, wow, radio. <laughs> All right, well, they're just hanging out, just chilling out, eating. not doing much. Just lying down. Just lying down, it's not so doing much. Tight. So, we're going to go and have a check around this whole place. The cart, so if you want to hire the carts, they're about, well, they are $100 a day, aren't they? It's $100 for the day, but you can, you're not helping. Yeah, you can't help um, yeah. You can only book them for a whole day if it's not school holidays, no. yep. and not weekends, I believe. Is the yeah. rules. So, you gotta, so if you want it for the whole day, you got to come during the um, week, Monday to Friday. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure it's Monday. Yeah. Or maybe it's Monday to Thursday. Yeah, maybe Monday to Thursday, hundred dollars um, a day. 
Otherwise, it's $70 for half a day, which if you can do it during a weekday, it's not school holidays, you'd be better off just getting for the holiday. Yeah, it's not that busy actually at the moment. Um, what time is it? About 10 o'clock? Yeah. Roughly, yeah. And we have some rocks. Oh, and... And it's World Hippo Day. World Hippo Day, so they'll give them some rocks. And what are you going to do with them? Do you have to hide them around? Yeah. And we'll get in a pocket with the Okay. <laughs> Alright. Okay, we'll hide them. Show us your rock. Let's have a look. Oh, very cool. Alright, shall we go and see what else there is to, to see? Um, we had to hide it. Okay, yeah, let's go and see the other animals. Now the Taranga Western Plains Zoo, located in Dubbo, Australia, offers a unique and immersive wildlife experience. Spanning over 1,000 hectares, this open-range zoo provides a habitat for over 4,000 animals from around the world, including endangered species. Visitors can explore the zoo by car, bike, or even take a guided safari to witness animals in spacious and naturalistic enclosures. We opted to hire a golf cart as the patrol was getting its 10K service at Dubo Nissan, which the legends dropped me off to the zoo and picked me up at the end of the day. There is also a cafe there with an awesome menu which wasn't available today as the chef was off sick. Anyway, well, if you do come down to Tronga Zoo, definitely bring the kids with their togs because the splash park at the waterhole is pretty good. They absolutely love it. And plus, being on a hot day, well, even we went in for a little bit of a dip or a splash. For a dip. Okay, show me how you swim in that then, mister. I dip, for a dip. <laughs> okay, I dip, my, I dip my toes in, but we happened to come on a day when there wasn't a chef, so yeah. food was a little bit limited. A little bit, it was very limited. Okay, it was very limited. It's annoying. Yeah, because the kids wanted well, hot chips. We really only want to eat chips when we go out. Yeah. And they can't do any fried potato sticks. Fried they could do pizzas, but that was it. Yeah. They had some sandwiches and sourdough, and that looked quite nice. And some wraps. And yet you didn't get it. I did tell you, and then you said, oh, let's get two pizzas. I'm like, all right. I said, do you want two pizzas? And he said, okay. Yeah. Because. <laughs> well, I just thought no, it'd be I easier. I wouldn't have had pizza either. I would have had something else, but anyway. All right. Maybe next time. Or well, maybe next time there'll be a chef. Kids are off again. At least we get to relax a little bit. I mean, not relaxing from our ears. We can still hear them. Let's have a look. All right, monkeys. Anyway, so from here we'll... I mean, we don't have too much further to go. We're halfway. Okay, we got halfway. <laughs> So yes. You're up there, and you still got to do all that yet. Yeah, don't mind me and my uh, directions and... It's the first time he's looked at the map all day. No, uh, I've looked at it when you've held it. Yeah. The first time I was allowed to hold the map. Oh, uh, whatever. Now conservation and education are at the heart of the Taronga Western Plains Zoo's mission, engaging visitors in understanding and protecting the diverse array of species housed within its expansive grounds. It serves as an important hub for wildlife research and plays a vital role in breeding programs aimed at preserving endangered animals. All right. Uh, Lightning. Come on. All right, cool. Well, there you have it, guys. Another awesome day. How was it? Apart from the air bite, I just copped on my knee. Fantastic. Kids had a great day. I think they're pretty knackered now, though. Yeah, well, the Taronga Western Plains Zoo is amazing. I do really suggest getting the carts if you don't drive uh, because it was so much fun the kids enjoyed it did you guys enjoy it yeah. they said yes two thumbs up for them all right it is 100 bucks a day but it was money well spent yeah 70 bucks for half a day i don't know doing this in half a day okay good luck we um we missed spits like we didn't see all of the australia animals because we've seen that before but like yeah if you needed to see those you'd probably need more than a day yeah so Get a whole day pass. Let you in for two days. Yeah, but we're only here for a day. Well, one more day and then we're off. So anyway, let's get onto the road. Oh, also another good thing about Nissan, free coffee, oh. double shot, uh, doubled up.
That was good. And vacuum cleaning. Uh, and the service. <laughs> yes. Hey, look, this car has never been clean up. Well, actually, no, it has when I first bought it. But, yeah, we um, weren't allowed to breathe in it. Yes. But now, kids, well, they drop stuff all the damn time. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we still love you. Alrighty guys, so we're here down at Wellington Caves. Now, these are about three to 400 million years old. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, apparently it's gonna be 18 degrees all year round underneath. Can, uh, doesn't matter whether it's summer, winter here, it's always a constant 18 degrees. The kids are super excited to go see it. As Who's opposed to the currently 28 degrees it is. Yeah, it's 20 <laughs> degrees, midday, we're in the shade. Did you say 20? 28, yeah. yeah. Um, kids are super excited. They want to see a dinosaur bone, but um, we'll see what happens. And uh, we'll take you along for the ride. Well, it's now time for the Wellington Caves in New South Wales, which are renowned for their stunning limestone formations, including the impressive Cathedral Cave with its captivating stalactites and stalagmites. The caves also hold cultural significance showcasing evidence of Aboriginal occupation and offering guided tours that provide a comprehensive exploration of their geological wonders and historical importance. Who can do the loudest thunder? Oh, that's loud. What about you, Benj? Give us a thunder. Like thunderstruck. That is super loud, mate. What about mummy? Oh, monkey. Oh. Is that Echo Cave? All right, well, there you have it, guys. The Wellington Caves. They were absolutely amazing. A lot of history in it. Uh, what do you think, babe? It was really good. I liked it. So there's some cool down there. The kids saw some fossils. There's lots of crystals for them to look at, too, which is good. Um, our tour guide was really good with the kids in particular. Yeah. Um, was it scary, guys? No. No? Oh. Oh. Not at all? Okay, well, at one point they were a little bit scared, but... I know, you're tour, hungry. We'll get tour guide was quite good about it. Um, very informative, a good tour to take. Um, this is also part of that um, Western Plains Dubbo, Great Big Adventure Pass. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we've done all four now. Yeah. Um, heading off to Orange. To start making our way more coastal and further south. Benj, what are Mate. you doing? <laughs> Stop being a no Alrighty guys, now if you do decide to come down here with your caravan, well, there are parks available, which you can check out here. Now, they're only a double car park, so you might hang over a bit. Lady at the front said that's okay, it's not too busy, but if you do want to decide to stay, there is a caravan park or a holiday park here as well that you can park up if you want to stay overnight. But we're just passing through on our way to Orange, so um, we're just parking here for a bit. Gonna make some lunch and then uh, chuff off. Alrighty guys, so we've just rocked up to Orange Showgrounds, which is a free camp. Um, it looks pretty well maintained. There's a few caravans about, a couple of camper vans as well. Um, now, it does say no camping, but I'm assuming that's no tents, as it probably don't, you know, probably don't want to kill the grass. Now, you do have to be self-contained, um, which we're just filling up water. It does have some water points all around the showgrounds, as you can see. Have a look there, those orange, marks so just filling up water now now we've done something for the first time that we haven't done before is we run a load of washing um, while we're driving just to see how it goes it was we checked up on it on a uh, truck stop before and it was still going all right uh, it doesn't seem to be any flooding or anything like that um, so we'll see how that goes I mean inverter was running but we do have the DC DC charger going which was pumping in about 60 amps. Plus we've got the solar from the caravan and then it's also solar on the patrol as well. So if all goes well, um, we'll probably keep doing that.
but it looks like there's going to be a big storm uh, heading our way over there. Lots of lightning. Now, I think these tanks are getting full. They're about 50% all round for each three tanks um, when we're parked up for three days off grid. So I can hear them now. All right, better go so I can uh, actually stop it when it uh, gets full. All right, till next time. Peace. Whew, now this is the first time busted out the old jumper. It is gonna be 16 degrees tonight, which is the coolest it's ever been while on our trip, which has only been two weeks to be honest. So, I mean, I'm sure it's gonna get a lot colder in some places and I'm sure it's gonna get a lot hotter in some places. But for zero dollars per night, this campground is an absolute beaut. Oh, let's uh, focus on it. So if you do come down here, it's only four minutes to Woolies and three minutes to Coles. Fortunately for us, well, we didn't need to get anything. So we're still hooked up there, um, which will be quite easy in the morning. Just put the legs up and then roll on out. Uh, I'm not too sure where we're gonna be heading. Uh, I think we might be going to Batemans Bay um, or Canberra. I know they're opposite ends, but um, yeah. Still haven't decided. We'll figure that out tonight. Oh. A lot more of these free camps will be good. So be the old dosheroo.